it's a gala. We don't think the same. 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 He want a triad. She want a man. I want both. He want a daughter. She want a man. I got both. You love your enemies. Nah, let them devils choke you. Not a friend to me. If you siding with Israel, you a troll. I miss them real artists, the Lauren Hills. Feel they soul through the music, give me chills. Write bars all day. He paid the bills, 50 50 debate. You the man halfway? Well, anyway, <laughs> any day I went on a tangent. Hey, Fendi, Fendi, do we do we old and basic? If it ain't black on, I don't own it. My brand and black wood match my Fenty bowl lip. He wanna try on. She want a man, I want both. He want a daughter. She want a man, I got both. You love your enemies. Nah, let them devils choke you. Not a friend to me. If you siding with Israel, you a troll. I'm Fanny Lou Hamer and that Turner Bowl. Elijah Muhammad. Like eating brownies, Regina George tried to bake We don't think the same, we don't think the I believe what's, what's good for Jesus is good for you. If Allah was good enough for Jesus to call upon, I think he should be good enough for you to call upon. <laughs> Dear white man, uh, I know you want to see me in jail and your heaven is my hell, wicked white man. Uh, slaving from nine to five, then you take a piece of mine, wicked white man. Uh, want me to fight up in your wars, but you killing me like the moors, wicked white man. Wicked, wicked, wicked white man. Uh, listen, white man. Uh, can't you see that your world is coming to an end, silly white man. Uh, Pestilence, fan man, man, them waves crashing in, wicked white man. Uh, feeding me drugs, disease, and demons, America, modern Egypt, filthy white man. Filthy, filthy, filthy white man. Once upon a time, came a man, a man out of his mind. From the mountains of Caucasus, they say he looked like the Sith from Star Wars. And he wanted all the land, so he started wars with the original people. Let's keep it frank, they weren't white, they were dark people. See, Allah was their bank that they went to for the riches. Allah not the golden Allah. money that left us in this prison. Listen how the white man came in and he risen. He said, he said, with a cross, I shall put them in the system. Tell them I'm their God, so they'll stay up in the system. Damn. Hang them up in trees and beat them to their knees. After that, take their women and shit. Do as I please, they so dumb. <laughs> They'll never realize what I've done See, I came in like a serpent with the slickest of the tongue Like Eve took a bite, I bet we can make him love these guns And the pussy, sorry, and the sticky, sorry And the Henny and the Fenny and the Prada Leave them with nothing in their pocket See, I took their two cents Give me that. <laughs> Knowledge of self and knowledge of wealth Look at their health Let's beat them down, we will surely have the crown <laughs> We will surely have the crown Brother said, dear white man I won't grieve, I won't cry when justice come, you deserve this. 
deserve this. You deserve this. You earned this, dear white man. You had no love for your children in the world. You ruined. You are worthless. You're worthless. You're worthless. You earned this. On my goals, I gotta stay focused. On my soul, I gotta keep golden. Gotta stay pure for the moment. Don't matter the trauma, we not for the drama. Put that on mama, get big like Obama. Why they still thinking me monkeys? They thinking we junkies. Appropriate our culture, I'm thinking that's funny. Oh God, keep using me for blessings. Storm my people and teaching these lessons. I think I need to make a confession. I don't give a fuck about Confederates. And I don't give a fuck about a Ku Klux Klan. Black lives matter, so what's up? And I don't see no fear, so what's up? My father told me, General, pick your chin up. And I'm Malcolm at the window with the gun up. Stand up. Ain't no pipe bomb finna wake my son up. Defend to the sun up. Dear white man. Uh, I know you wanna see me in jail and your heaven is my hell, wicked white man. Uh, slaving from nine to five, then you take a piece of mine, wicked white man. Uh, want me to fight up in your wars, but you killing me like the Moors, wicked white man. Wicked, wicked, wicked white man. Uh, listen, white man. Uh, can't you see that your world is coming to an end, silly white man? Uh, Pestilence, fan man, man, them waves crashing in, wicked white man. Uh, feeding me drugs, disease, and demons, America, modern Egypt, filthy white man. Filthy, filthy, filthy white man. A change is coming. The change is now. George, we will never, ever forget you nor any of those who have also fallen at the hands of racist monsters. But you best believe there will be a day of reckoning. Coming, 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 coming. Before I begin, I want to send my warm wishes to the great people of Tennessee in the wake of the horrible, and very vicious tornado that killed at least 19 people and injured many more. Somebody got shot in the street. They body got left in the sheet. Yellow tape blocked off like a block party. A stendo turned to a shot party. It could have been one of your friends. They killing for money, you get in the end. All the little kids with throwaways. Light it up fast, we go away. Thinking like Lisa it ain't me. They killed in the streets like the Middle East. And put it on the news like it ain't sweet. Drop bombs, dies, nothing like the Clone Wars The military come home with the mental health Shoot first, aim last, now you in the dirt I'm from Seven Mile, that's a war zone It's a battle in the sky, I bought the war home My psyche is tripping, I'm flipping out I need every dollar up in the safe It's waiting to run in the bank But ain't bring no gun in the bank The gun that you got is your brain streets and they seeking revenge they want to kill you and come for all your friends you know it ain't safe for your family you ain't paid your debt so you gotta see it's dangerous and obviously out of hands you plan to be over the top but it's not enough drained out but you stopping up blood stains you mopping up she loved the rain and the top is rough sliding through life like a hockey puck she dealt with molesters and she got beretta Young dude at the school got picked on Until he came home with the chrome Blasted a man in his dome Last of the week on the run No family, his future is done Turned into a mobster, monster Tattoos popping out like the Green Goblin 
Somebody dying and sliding Never seen so much violence It seemed like it happened every week So they ride around with it in the street A couple kids that have seen life. I know a couple kids that have seen death. Me and my niggas reaching for the top chef, and we trying to have our own personal chef. Actually, I get in the kitchen, whip it, whip it. How I actually got the skillet, clipping kitchen. I don't even want an inch, 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 but you know everybody corn and it's worth, worth it inches. Gotta get the mention, Kaepernick still kneeling. I gotta get the witness. All the other kids want to gain power I'm just trying to teach power to the kids like power You ain't gotta watch the show though Chia chia, I'ma let the afro grow A whole lot of blood in the streets Chalked and died, I mean R.I.P. We gotta pour out a whole bunch of drinks We gon' empty all the liquor shells in the D I ain't never even wanna mention me Everybody really wanna be on the one thing I get the turkey like I come here today with a message as president, I have a responsibility to act with urgency and resolve when our nation faces clear and present danger. And that's what climate change is about. It is literally, not figuratively, a clear and present danger. The health of our citizens and our communities is literally at stake. You uh, peace, brother, man. My brother. What's up, bro? My brother. What's up, brother? I said that I'ma ride for all my brothers Most likely I'ma die, save my lives with my brothers I've been soldiering outside all day with my brothers And I'm finna go in with all my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers We ain't of this world First things first, man, all praise is due For this brotherhood, F.O.Y. coming through I'm ready to get it in, let me call my my brothers coming through suit and bullets. I roll with my brothers. My bros don't smoke. My bros don't drink. My bros push the word from the curb all day. Don't make my brothers act up, cause my brothers will act up. Pull up in all black trucks and snatch your ass right up. He ain't in ranks with me now. That ain't my brother. Ain't trying to come to the mines now. That ain't my brother. He going through the process. Yeah, that's my brother. Just join my homies ranks. Yeah, that's my brother. Throw my first bundle on the streets with my brother. Hit my first block. Made a Go up with my brothers, man. All praises due to my brotherhood. I'm true. I'm going to ride for my brothers. F.O.I. That's what we do. I said that I'm going to ride for all my brothers. Most likely I'm going to die. Save my lives with my brothers. I've been soldiering outside all day with my brothers. And I'm finna go in with all my brothers. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. Kill and die for the lamb and each other And I ain't saying I don't give a damn I know others But can't only put God before fam and my brothers I came up off the grave as a slave of my brothers So I'm posted in a razor blade shape with my brothers For the dirt I didn't already forgave my brothers For the ones who still hurt I'm trying to save my brothers I ain't heard nothing deep till you heard my brothers One thing you best to keep is your word to my brothers A lot of others copy us but they ain't my brothers Even cops in the mafia can't stop my brothers F.O.Y. Cloud is all about my brothers You can come test me out if you doubt my brothers But it's some undercovers with us posing like they brothers Trying to hide in among us, that's how bad the devil want us I'm gonna ride for all my brothers Most likely I'm gonna die, save my lives with my brothers I've been soldiering outside all day with my brothers And I'm finna go in with all my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers My brothers, my brothers, my brothers I see my king. On the opposite in the hate, aqua flow ink linked to the great lake. Fakes get baked, pound on these cakes with the icing. Red rum, Tyson in his prime. Out of line to plot against mine. Have you leaking red wine? Amber alert, help me find my mind. Hands do work. No lines can't stop it, neither. Okay, where are we? Here we go. Boom. All right. All right. So here is the actual letter. This is the 
letter from Raymond Woods. He said, I, Raymond Wood, being of sound mind and body, I wish to confess the following. I was a black New York City undercover police officer from eight, April 1964 through May of 1971. I participated in actions that in hindsight were deplorable and detrimental to the advancement of my own black people. My actions on behalf of the New York City Police Department, Bossy, that's a that was a unit that they put together for Malcolm to really assassinate him. Eugene Roberts was a part of that Bossy unit, by the way. Side note. It was done under duress and fear that if I did not follow the orders of my handlers, I could face detrimental consequences. Now, remember the movie Judas and the Black Messiah? They did the same thing with William O'Neill. He was still in cars and they said, hey, look, you can go home or you can go to jail for a few years. We can throw you in jail, but you know what you want to do. So, you know, they made him a, an offer. He could have refused it. He could have He could have did that little bullshit jail time. He didn't have to do that to our brother Fred Hampton. But you see how they do. They make these little deals. Now, here it is. Mm. Presently, I'm aging with failing health. And that's what Jesus said. Jesus called on Allah. He said, Allah, Allah, Lama Asabatini. I believe what's, what's good for Jesus is good for you. If Allah was good enough for Jesus to call upon, I think he should be good enough for you to call upon. Since the so-called Negro community has shot the white man by resisting all efforts to divide us, I think that you and I should continue to shock him by seeing and working together in unity. Despite religious, political, economic, or educational, or social... In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, to whom all praise is due, whom we forever thank for giving us the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, our leader, teacher, and guide. And I specifically, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters, uh, open up like that because I am a representative of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And were it not for him, you and I wouldn't be here today. In order for you and me to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or the uh, repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. We have to get to the cause of it all or the root of it all. And it is because of our efforts toward getting straight to the root that people often think we are dealing in hate. But first, I would like to congratulate and give praise to the Negro, so-called Negro leaders and so-called Negro organizations. And excuse me if I say so-called, it's hard for me to just outright say Negro when I know what that word Negro really means. <laughs> One of the most religious persons who displayed the highest form of moral than any black person anywhere on this earth. And as one of the previous speakers pointed out who knew him, everyone who knew him had to give him credit for being a good man, a clean man, an intelligent man, an, uh, and an innocent man when he was hurt. The Negro football Negro organization and, uh, and uh, leaders should be given great credit for their failure or refusal to let the white man divide them and use them one against the other during this crisis. As Reverend Welford Wilson pointed out, I think it was eight years ago today that the Supreme Court handed down the desegregation decision. 
And despite the fact that eight years have gone to pass, that decision hasn't been implemented yet. I don't have that much faith. I don't have that much confidence. I don't have that much patience. I don't have that much ignorance. The Supreme Court is the highest law making body in the country. Then pass it that you can't get even 8% compliance within eight years more for black people than my patients have run out. When black people who are being oppressed become impatient, they say that's emotional. Please. When black people who are being deprived of their civil not only of their civil rights, but their human rights, become impatient, become fed up, don't want to wait any longer, then they say that's emotional. <laughs> All Negro leaders and organizations should be praised. They should be congratulated. They should be complimented. Because out of all of them combined, the white man has not yet found one who will play the role of Uncle Tom. But yet he has found no Tom, no puppet, no Parrot, who is still dumb enough in 1962 to represent the injustices that he's inflicting against our people. We don't care what your religion is. We don't care what organization you belong to. We don't care how far and soon you went or didn't go. We don't care what kind of job you have. We have to give you credit for shocking the white man by not letting him divide you and use you one against the other. In the past, the greatest weapon the white man has had has been his ability to divide and conquer. As Jackie Robinson pointed out beautifully on the television last night, four fifths of the world isn't white. Isn't that what Jackie said? <laughs> and if, if four fifths of the world is not, how is it possible for one fifth to rule, oppress, exploit, dominate, and brutalize the four fifths who are in the world? continue to shock me by things working together. 
together in unity. Despite religious, political, economic, or educational, or social differences, let us remember that we are not brutalized because we're Baptists. We're not brutalized because we're Methodists. We're not brutalized because we're Muslims. We're not brutalized because we're Catholics. We're brutalized because we are black people in America. Well, your mother is being raped and you're not supposed to be emotional. Your women please, your women can't walk the street without some smacker putting his hands on her, then you're not supposed to be emotional. because he took it away from us. Please, please, 20 million black people don't even know their own language. Why? Because he took it away from us. 20 million black people who don't even know the history of their ancestors. Why? Because he took it away from us. And if you're trying to tell them how thoroughly and completely they've been robbed, he says that he's a king. with being seditious. They put Moses in jail. 
They put angels in jail. Why, you haven't got a man of God in the Bible that wasn't put to jail when they started speaking out against exploitation and oppression. They charged Jesus with sedition. Didn't, didn't they do that? They said he was a good thief. They said he was discriminating because he told his disciples, go not the way of the church, but rather go to the lost sheep. He discriminated. Don't go near the Gentiles. Go to the lost. Go to the oppressed. Go to the downtrodden. Go to the exploited. Go to the people who don't know who they are, who are lost in the knowledge of themselves, and who are strangers in a land that is not there. Go to those people. Go to the slaves. Go to the second class. Go to the ones who are suffering the brunt of Caesar's brutality. And if Jesus were here in America today, he wouldn't be going to the white man. The white man is the oppressor. He would be going to the oppressed. He would be going to the humble. He would be going to the lowly. He would be going to the rejected and the despised. He would be going to the so-called American Negro. no disgrace. To remain a criminal is the disgrace. I, I formerly was a criminal. I formerly was in prison. I'm not uh, ashamed of that. You never can use that over my head. And that he's using the wrong stick. I don't feel that stick. <laughs> to prison because I believed in men like Sam York. I went to prison because I trusted men like Sam York. I went to prison following the philosophy of men like Sam York. But since I've been following the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I have been reformed, and that's more pleased. That's more than Sam Yorty and Chief Parker and all these other white politicians have been able to do with the inmates in the prison of this state. They should give Mr. Muhammad credit. They should give Mr. Muhammad credit for reforming and rehabilitating men whom they have failed to reform and rehabilitate. <laughs> Mayor Jordan referred to the Sunday press report that Mr. Muhammad has not been found guilty of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. He failed to explain purposely that in 1934, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad refused to send his children to the white schools in Detroit, Michigan, that were teaching you about little black children. That's the, that's, the, that's the minor that he contributed to the delinquency of. You see, this vicious, fork-tongued white man has been able to take lies and make you turn against those who want to help you and make others turn against you. This is the contributing to the delinquency of a minor that this mayor, or man who calls himself, is talking about. In the same article, he said that the Muslims are the same people who rioted in the United Nations. Someone should pull his throat and let him know that at the present moment, there are $6 million worth of troops leveled against two of New York's leading newspapers for making a mistake of charging the Muslims as being involved in those United Nations riots. We were not involved. And if this fork tongue man who calls himself your mate had taken the time to find that out, he wouldn't be walking into the trap that he's letting his ignorance lead him into. <laughs> The uh, Washington Post that came out the Sunday after that incident took place, the Washington Post pointed out on the Sunday that the Muslims had nothing to do with the UN riots. And they voted in plain so uh, the, the person who was at that time the commissioner of police.
police in New York City. We have lied that the white man has spread about the Muslims to try and make you afraid of the Muslims or to try and make you think that the Muslims were a criminal element, uh, uh, an untruth element, and things that you would not like to be associated with. Also, they say that they are concerning these things out and they want to get into what happened. They also say that uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a black guy. No, he wasn't. He just refused to go into the army because he was a man of peace. He was a minister of a religion of peace. He was teaching peace. So he outright refused to go through the army. That's not draft dodging. That's injustice. Here before the grand jury. Because the coroner's jury is stacked against Negroes. The grand jury is stacked against Negroes. The press, the radio, the television, and the newspapers are stacked against Negroes. But we, the Los Angeles Police Department, is stacked against Negroes. He is stacked against all Negroes. All except those whom he has appointed in a high position. The, con the controlled press, the white press, inflames the white public against Negroes. The police are able to use it to paint the Negro community as a criminal element. The police are able to use the press to make the white public think that 90% or 99% of the Negroes in the Negro community are free. And once the white public is convinced that most of the Negro community is a criminal element, then this automatically paves the way for the police to move into the Negro community, exercising the Gestapo tactics, stopping any black man who is in the, on, on the sidewalk, whether he is guilty or whether he is innocent, whether he is well-dressed or whether he is poor-dressed, whether he is educated or whether he is dumb, whether he is a Christian or whether he is a Muslim, as long as he is black and a member of the Negro community, the white public thinks that the white policeman is justified in going in there and passing on that man's civil rights and on that man's human rights. Once the police have convinced the white public that the so-called Negro community is a criminal element, they can go in and question, brutalize, murder, unarmed, innocent Negroes, and the white public is gullible enough to back them up. This makes the Negro community a police state. This makes the Negro neighborhood a police state. It's the, it's the most heavily controlled. It has more police in it than any other neighborhood. Yet it has more crime in it than any other neighborhood. How can you have more cops and more crime? Why? It shows you that the cops must be in cahoots with the criminals. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rebel Alameen Yeah I got plenty passions that I had to calm I went to the scriptures for my Adderall I was out here living like a vagabond 
Sometimes I still feel like a vagabond, but can't alarm the naysayers when I'm down. Cause I know they wish I wasn't around. Every time I speak, they say they love in the sound. That's the word of God coming from my heart, but there's blood on my mouth. I feel the pressure to be great, and it's bubbling now. But the pressure's on my brain, and it's causing me pain because I'm coming out the grave, but I'm still in my chains, and so I'm hustling now. Trying to build up the bank That's cause freedom ain't free I hope you feel what I'm saying Even if you don't got money You gon' still end up paying Even if you don't believe You gon' still end up praying The way this world's coming down <laughs> I know you see us building a nation Yeah, we still in the